Hey there guys, we're out here, we're outside the Smithsonian Institution Museum of Natural History. We just got down here, it's around noontime, slept in a little bit, you know we had an active day yesterday, and uh, it's not super crowded down here in DC, it's really a little surprising, but it's off season obviously, it's a little overcast which is good, and uh, we're getting ready hopefully to go inside, uh oh, she didn't get inside. I don't know if it's even open. A lot of these buildings are still closed up due to COVID. So oh, you might need a reservation. we'll see. No, I didn't say that online. We're going to find out and and then we're going to go from there. Let me turn the camera around Let's here go see. and we'll we'll see what's uh, what's going on here. Stand over here for now. Let's see what's going on. Liz. No, there was on the backside entrance. We didn't see anybody going in over there. Maybe they're not open. Huh? Well, they're supposed to open at 10, and it says they're open today. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. No, I didn't see anything to say it. Oh, it's closed until 10 a.m. Friday. Yeah. Really? It's until 10 Friday. So they're only open on the weekends? Oh. Okay. They're only closed on Wednesday and Thursday. They're closed. Well, we just found out. A uh, lady pulled it up on a website and says they're not... They're not even open during the week now. I guess because of COVID, nobody wants to work. And, uh, you know, that's a shame. But we'll be back here next week. Uh, and we will uh, try it again. And here's just a little picture of it. It's beautiful inside. You can spend a good day inside, half day for sure. And... Uh, and that's how things are in the world today. You know, it sucks, but what are you going to do? You move on. There's a lot of stuff outside to do, obviously. But, and it's beautiful. Beautiful flowers here. And I'm going to try to turn this camera around again. Doesn't do it too well on the fly. Let's see. Let's see if it'll do it. And we've got the Washington Monument and a plane going by right next to it. So, like we always say, what do we say, Liz? You gotta adapt and overcome. That's right, and that is. That's how we do, so we're gonna continue our tours. All right, so here's the deal. That one is closed until Friday and I guess open on the weekend when I guess more people come in. But we're going to, lady just told us the, the, nat, uh, the natural history is open down here. And so we're going to go down here. So the question is, the first question is why the hell don't they put a sign out in front on both entrances to just say we're closed? It's not like this shit hasn't been going on for a while, okay? So is it, we don't have enough workers, we, we, uh, we COVID, you know, we COVID. What? Yeah, are we, is it COVID? What is the situation? But just put up a sign when you're open when you're not some people don't have phones some people don't go online you know and uh okay i had to get that off you know liz you got anything we're going to the national museum where well, liz is very easy going she adapts she overcomes so we're just walking down here to, to see what's going on and here's a nest liz likes everything dealing with nature Liz could probably get up there and live in that thing, you, you know, so, nest, you know, I mean, you can walk around all day, you don't even have to go inside and actually have a pretty good time, you know, so, we're gonna 
head on down here and get inside. But you know, okay, good enough. I'm rambling on. So this is where we're going in, right here. Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. There's Liz, she takes a lot of pictures. She takes a lot of pictures. You think we're sitting around at night, we're not. And this is what we're greeted with. We're inside and look at Liz. This found a giant elephant. Woohoo! Well, look, inside the museum, it looks like Liz found a new friend. We just watched a cool movie. Hi, Liz. How's your new buddy? You gonna bring him home? He's quiet. He's quiet. Doesn't not, talk much. Not like me. Yeah, right. All right. Later. Later. <laughs> Is Liz checking out the dinosaurs? Thank you. Some of these dinosaurs didn't even eat meat. No, he didn't eat meat. The brontosaurus didn't eat meat. The T Rex did. Yeah. I'm gonna ask the I'm gonna ask our subscribers, how many cavemen do you think? the T-Rex ate in his lifetime? You can send us your comment and answer the question. And we, here we have the T-Rex taking down a Triceratops. Okay, there he is. My baby. T-Rex, man. He ain't no vegan, I'll tell you that. And here we have the famous Hope Diamond. Hope Diamond from India that you hear so much about. The world's most famous gem. I don't know these pictures aren't going to pick Flawless. it up very well. Just be over yeah. here before it turns around. This is for Kara. Yeah. It's flawless. Yeah. Deep blue. There we go. And here we are at the Lincoln Memorial at night. And you can see how beautiful that looks and with the sky. And we're gonna walk up closer to it. We'll shoot a little bit more. And now uh, we're looking uh, directly east down the mall from the Lincoln Memorial towards the Washington Monument. And then you can see the Capitol, the Little Dome, to the left of the Washington Monument, further down. This is known as the Washington Mall and Reflecting Pool. And this is, uh, we're going to go up and get another shot. Beautiful night out here tonight. As you can see, we're getting closer to the statue of Abraham Lincoln, who sits inside his grand house. It's quite, quite impressive. There goes Liz going up. Okay, we're looking down the uh, mall now. We're standing at the top steps of the Lincoln Memorial and looking directly uh, down the mall. And what a beautiful scene it is. They are setting up 
for some kind of ceremony over the weekend for the 9-11 memorial. And we're just looking around the city here. Scanning right to left. And here we are at the Vietnam Memorial, and we're going along the wall here. And you can see the wall stretches all the way around, all the way down, and the wall is filled with names of the fallen. This is crazy how big this is. Look at this pretty view here, please, along with the wall. These are the names etched in as we go. 1959 to 1975. There's Liz down there. That's a beautiful view. Yep. The reef somebody put over here. Yep. That's gorgeous. Walking down the path now. Beautiful view, beautiful night. Memorial to the Vietnam fallen, 60,000 plus men and women who served their country. And to get you a better look at the names, you can see they're all etched in there. Hundreds of names by year of the fallen men and women in Vietnam.